Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. We're in the greenhouses at night time because I wanted to check on our plants that we left growing in our uh, in our potting table. I'm sure there's a Harry Potter joke in there somewhere. Also, a couple of things. Oh, it is ready. Nice. We got some more Dittany leaves. Yay. Oh, and it's growing again. Nice. Okay, well, we'll leave that, that uh, to its own devices. Yeah, a couple of things. I've got a really bad headache today. I've I've just, I don't know, I, I woke up and my head was just throbbing, but I really do want to play more of this, so I don't know how that's going to go. And uh, second of all, um, oh, I've actually forgotten what the second thing was. I'm sure it can't have been important. Maybe it'll come back to me. Anyway, let's go to potions class, because uh, we that's like one of our two remaining quests. Last time, obviously, we met... The, uh, the wonderful uh, Professor Garlic, who is quite lovely, and uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty good herbology lesson. Herbology! Uh, and now we're off to maybe dreaded potions. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Is Professor Sharp going to be a, a strict teacher like I fear he might be? Or is he going to be one of those teachers at school where you don't mess with them, they are strict, but you also respect them, and that's a key that's a key difference. I remember I had one I think it was basically I had a couple of teachers at school, but I'm thinking more of my history teacher. You didn't you were scared of like pissing him off, but he was also just cool. Like you respected like he was reasonable with you. He wasn't just a dick, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. Anyway, it's uh in the library annex apparently. A potion's not in the dungeons. Then again, there's not even a, a section called the dungeons in this, so... I don't know, we're just gonna find out. Um, potions classroom, obviously not been there yet, so... We'll just, uh, track the quest and follow... The way... Marker, waypoint. Let's go. Still obviously rocking our, uh, amateur magician outfit. Oh, that was what I was gonna say. Outfit, it, it reminded me. I may have cast, um, disillusionment on, on myself with a green shirt with my green screen, although it might be okay, but I'm just covering my ass in case it does. Um, well, actually, I'm covering my, my upper body with the shirt, but uh, you know what I mean. Oh, God. Uh, what is this video? Uh, that's not the right way, is it? No. I'm going back... Oh yeah, we've been this way a few times. In fact, maybe all of them. Someone from the ministry guarding the school sure after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> yeah, no one likes him, do they? I mean, rightly so. He's a bit of a cock. Wait, I've definitely been this way before, haven't I? Or maybe no, maybe it was the other side. Maybe it was the other side I've been to. Oh. This is potions class. Lethia Burbley, wherever you are, what the frick are you talking about? Oh, you're making a potion. Oh. The Chucky Cannons are going to be unbeatable next season. You just wait and see. My brother oh. me his old broomstick once he's saved up for a new one. I can't wait. Wasn't it the Chudley Cannons that Ron supported? Am I am I misremembering that? But the Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, they sound uh, that sounds familiar. Anyway, uh, an ex aura lives in a hamlet outside of Hogsmeade. I might want to check that out. Oh, we got another uh, Daedalian key thing. This is potion class. Okay, we'll be back there in a minute. This this does look like it is leading down into some sort of dungeon. Oh, there's a chest there. Open the bloody chest. Open the freaking chest. Oh, there's the cabinet. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. Right. Can we do this one first try? Come on, you little bugger. Yes! God, I'm nailing these. That's another house token. How many of those have we got now? I know we needed like a million, so... Oh, that's locked. Yeah, where was the... I found an entrance to the dungeons. Wasn't it off the... I feel like it was near the Great Hall. So, I... I, I just thought potions class would be down there. Maybe maybe in this era it wasn't. I mean, that's a lot of cauldrons. 
also, as one of them... I, ho I hope that's safe to breathe. Like, po potions class is one of those that I, I do feel like would be would be great with the right teacher. Uh, I, I still don't think I'd be very good at it, though. All right, let's brew up some fun. Get it? Because potion brew. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know there is such a thing as trying too hard. Oh, you're a you're a dick, are you? You want to be a dick? Listen, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be set upon by a troll. I just I'm just epic, and I dealt with it. What was your name again? Yeah. Be careful, won't you? Uh, ominous. What was it? Ominous Gaunt. Uh, uh, more like. Luke and Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle. Actually, okay, I like him now. He's 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 flattered me now. Um, I like how posh he's. Luke and Brattleby positively wet himself. All uh, right, do we wait for the lesson? Or do we? There must be some pages around here. Uh, there's got to be. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's just money. I thought it was some sort of. Like ooze or something. It might be oozeful. It's a Dragon Quest joke. Right. There's definitely gotta be a page down here somewhere. It's gotta be. There's a chest in there. Wait, is there really no are there no pages in this room? He never backs down from a fight. He never backs down from a fight. Oh, yes, that's Sebastian Salo. Maybe it's out here. Oh, I can definitely hear it a jingling. It's in here, isn't it? What's this room? Oh, it's just a That's where I just came from. Okay, never mind. We'll leave we'll leave it for now. Let's just let's just get our freaking lesson done. I just sat on the floor. Oh, then again, there aren't actually stools. I thought there'd be stools. There is a stool. Natty, you could have let me have your stool. That she's not not the other kind of not the other kind of stool. The, the stool that she sat on. Don't be don't be gross. Don't don't be gross. Although hey, we might need it for a potion. Oh! Oh, I wonder if there are any potions that use that. Also, are there any potions that can cure headaches? Because I really do need one. I think I need to take the old uh par paracetamol something. Anyway. Revelio. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Right, let's go. It's got a bit of a limp. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Ah. Points for Ravenclaw. <laughs> Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I like his hair. He, do, he, he does remind me of Sirius Black quite a bit. Right. So yeah, so there's... They can't... Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oh boy. I'm having I'm having flashbacks now to blooming uh, Order of the Phoenix. Um, yeah, so they can't cure whatever he's got wrong with him. I mean, maybe maybe not. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's crush these ingredients. Let's absolutely crush it, Filipendo. Oh, that Please was so easy. Be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh god. <laughs> now I want to now I want to sneeze. A pinch of dittany. That seemed like more of a pinch. Uh or more than a pinch. Whole clump juice. Mmm, love me some whole clump juice. Oh, a bit more. Okay. Not too much now. 
Give it a nice, nice stir with the old ladle. There you go. Well, that wasn't very hard at all. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Fancy a sip? Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, he doesn't seem like a... like a prick. Got the Wiganwell potion. I mean, he said, is, is the Wigged Well Potion particularly hard to brew? I mean, I know we're doing it in our fifth year, but like, I don't know, in the early games it was just quite a common potion, wasn't it, to be able to have, but okay. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. I mean, might be a good idea, actually. It sounds like shit might kick off at any point, but hello. Professor Sharp said that Wigan Well Potion can treat injuries hope I never need it. I have had to use it several times already. <laughs> Hello. My Wigan World potion's utter rubbish. <laughs> Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Oh, my, my Wigan World potion's utter rubbish. Oh, dear. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Are you Scottish? But yeah, I mean, we are going to be able to obviously grow a lot of ingredients in herbology or maybe eventually our own Potting table somewhere else in a room we might require at some point. Professor Sharp must Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Um you heard correctly. Why do you want to know? Yes, but Gareth. why does that matter to you? Brilliant! Brilliant! It matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You're I'm a Weasley! Gareth, by the way, Gareth Weasley, bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. What? Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. <laughs> Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. It's not an ogre You're bollock, as is it? As I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. Fwooper. you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh, we're definitely going to do this. I mean, not just because he's a Weasley, just because this sounds like something a, uh, you know, a, a budding dark wizard would want to do. Um, although it, we are technically helping someone as well. But we get to break the rules while we're doing it, so it's not that big of a deal. Frickin', a freaking Weasley! I was wondering if there would actually be, like, a student. Gareth Weasley. And that, I mean, they had to have done that on purpose. One of the first freaking words he says is brilliant. It's got to, it's got to have been a, on purpose. Um, right, I will get you that feather. I'll get you the Fwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. If they're not that valuable, why don't you already have one? Collect Ashwinder eggs. Dark mongrel fur and a fupa feather. Right. Well, this is his office. Let's go. Remember, precision is key. Precision is key when brewing potions, everyone. Precision is key. Well, there's the feather. Ah, he's a big feather. Oh my god. That thing looks incredible. Very vibrant. Look at all these different trinkets. Yep, this this looks like uh this looks like Snape's office to me. A dark flat cap. Oh, it is better than what we've got. I mean, I might just still... I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting bored of the hat. Am I getting bored of the hat? Ask yourself this question, mage. Are you getting bored of that hat? I mean, that is going to be 28 
defense extra are you having a bubble bath? It doesn't really go with my outfit though, does it? It doesn't go with my outfit. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back to the hat. We're 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 gonna we're gonna look like we'll yeah. I mean then again I haven't tried this one, have I? Okay, we're wearing this one for a little bit. We're we're wearing this one for a little bit. But we just got way better freaking headgear. I hope uh hope Professor Sharp doesn't miss his hat. Um, oh, he's got a note on his desk. I'm sure he won't mind if we have a mooch. 31st of December, 1875. So are we in 1876 now? Or are we later than that? Borgin and Burks! From the Aura office. Borgin and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made uh, to the shop's back entrance. Could make a joke there, not going to. Uh, given what we know of the shop's reputation, we'd add in more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You're amongst our new additions uh, for their instructions to follow. That was my terrible Scottish accent. Got the mongrel fur. Got the freaking Ashwinder eggs. That sounds familiar to me. I haven't already found some of those, have I, in this game? Or um, maybe they were in other games. Um, what's the deal with all these weird freaking candles that look like a spinal column. What's all that about? Is there a magical creature that actually has wax for bones? That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Anyway, right, we got the stuff. Your potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell. Oh dear, Miss McDowell's fucking up. Hey, Amit! I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggle Meld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Amit. Pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggenwald potion on their first try. Well done. Oh, thanks. It's it's nice to uh, meet you. Uh, I was relieved. Professor Sharp seems seemed to disagree. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. And in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Oh, I look forward to that class. I genuinely would be very interested in studying that. Uh, okay, right. Well, he was very, very friendly. Uh, easy thing, Gareth. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Aduras potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right, Gareth. I think me and you are going to be good friends. I think me and you are going to be best of buds. Me, me, me and you and me, you and Sebastian. Oh, and, and Natty. Is that you, Natty? Don't think that's Natty. Where's Natty gone? I can't tell. I, I don't know where everyone is. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. That's a mighty quill. My niece actually just went to um, Wizard Golf. <laughs> my, uh, my, my sister and brother-in-law took it to wizard golf basically they avoided as much copyright stuff as possible it was just generic wizard stuff it was mini golf and you get like um she got like a quill to write with it like a blue quill and like a, a potion to drink and it told her what kind of magic she was good at it's quite cool uh professor sharp i got the stuff professor what should i be doing again you should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron finish your potion, and then return to me. Yeah, I feel like we probably didn't need to ask that. He's probably, we've, if anything, we've just made ourselves look a little bit like a dumbass. Oh well, let's, let's brew this, this son of a bitch. Ooh, potion station's unlocked. Right. So, uh, a Duras potion, which ah, is the one where we get like a rocky skin, more defense. Dur and endurance. A Duras. Felix fe uh, feces fe felis felices. Uh, 
So, dr drinker's chance of success in their endeavours. I was actually talking to my sister the other day, and she mentioned... I think that was a potion was that was given to Ron to make him better at Quidditch. Are we correct on that? Because again, it's been so long since we've read the books. I, I don't remember. We could make one though. Um, so I don't really know how that would work in bat- Oh, it just reveals- Ow. Reveals uh, locations of large loot chests on the minimap for one in-game day. That's actually quite- That's quite a long time. Okay, well we'll do the endurance thing. Takes 30 seconds to get one bottle. Oh. So I just have to wait. So have you been? Family alright? Yeah? Cool. Ah, it's done. Oh, cool. Uh, right. Nice. Should I... I I, I think we might as well make... We've got plenty of ingredients. We might as well make a, a Felix whatever. That takes a minute. That takes a minute to brew. So I could just leave. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Oh, is... Wait, it's not supposed to. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Oh dear. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I it wasn't me. I was brewing this potion. Look, I've been brewing this whole time. I didn't do it. What? What? Who's Who's Gareth? I don't know who Who that is. Wasn't he on like Pop Idol or something? I I don't know. I'm just going to wait for this potion to be done. I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble in my first potions class. That's what I get for being just a badass. Someone who doesn't care about the rules. Gareth, what are you playing at, son? Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. I've just done it. You said brilliant again. I swear to God that must have been intentional. Anyway, let's... Let's face the music, or maybe we can weasel our way out of it. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I mean, he had to have known it was me. I was the only one that went in his office. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you mean. Oh, what do we do? I feel like I don't want to mess with this guy. Because again, I kind of I respect how he carries himself. I'm just going to say I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Oh, thanks. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Can I, can I leave it in front of, like, a, a bunch of first years? I think had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Tell them they all need to drink it to, to get good grades. Or, or one of the teachers. I don't know. Anyway, we've just got a bunch of XP. We've done our first uh, first potions clash, which was very entertaining. And uh, I could... Oh, I don't have enough Hawkeye juice. Don't know where we're going to find that. Maybe out and about in the world. Obviously, we probably could buy it as well. Um, but yeah, I wanna wanna always have a good a good uh, selection of Wigan Weld on me. We can actually make invisibility potions, focus potions, thunder brew, maxima potions. 
Um, if that's all the potions you can make in the game, that's quite a small amount. Probably, like, you don't... Maybe we just don't need many potions in this game, but at the same time, it would be cool to make some really weird and wacky ones. Uh, but anyway, that's the potion station. Jolly good. Gareth, you okay, mate? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, uh... You, you did get me into trouble a little bit, but thankfully, th thankfully my immense potion-making skills kind of redeemed me st somewhat. Um, it was nothing. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp oh, may no. seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. I bet he did. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Well, that'd be... No, explode all the shit you want, mate. It's more fun. Uh, but yeah, maybe... Uh, maybe his limp has been caused by some errant potion making in his youth. Oh, I don't know. Robes are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Is that a euphemism? Right. So now, I think the only quest we've got left is to go see Natty. I think. Well, there's another one that's going to be unlocked probably after that. But yeah, Natty's out in some random freaking uh, hamlet. Yeah, she's in Hogsfield. So and we're still doing Professor Hecate's thing. We need to just dodge enemy attacks, which, again, we should do fairly naturally if I remember to actually do that. Uh, let's go see Natty. Uh, we could do, obviously, some exploring at this point as well. But I think we'll uh, we'll have chance to do that on the way anyway. So oh, it's telling me to tell me to go this way. Oh yeah, oh, it's daytime again. So we might as well just leg it because we won't be able to fast travel there anyway because we've not been there before. Uh, although there probably would be a quicker way of getting out of Hogwarts. Uh, we've definitely been this way a few times already. I'm starting to feel a little bit of, uh, like, feel familiarity to the layout ever so slightly. And I mean ever so slightly. Or do we... Oh, I really, really do want to go check out the dungeons. Because, yeah, potions class, I don't think that classifies as dungeons. That's just... Oh, man, I don't even remember. It was definitely the Great Hall. It was definitely the Great Hall... I think, anyway. Um, we've not been to the Viaduct Courtyard. We've not been down to the Boathouse. Um, yeah, I could have sworn... Was it near the Great... I, I feel like... I feel like it was. I'm just going to quickly wander over there and see... Yeah, I, I just really want to check out the dungeons. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Yeah, 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 Ignatia. God, the Great Hall just looks so, so good. Have I missed breakfast? God, all this food looks amazing too. Oh. Um, oh, actually, have I checked to see if there's any more side quests? Actually doesn't look like it. There is... Possibly on the world map, though. Uh... God, yeah, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to see and do. Uh, how do you get to the world map again? Not actually sure. It says Hogwarts Hogsmeade. I guess we are in the world map, maybe. Maybe this is it. Uh... Yeah, that's Hogsmeade. Where is, um... Oh, it's not actually that far away from... Yeah, okay. So we will we will head over there eventually, but I just really want to check out the... Revelio. Dungeons. <gasps> There's another key! Let's follow thee. Where are you going? It's actually very hard to keep... Whoa, it's very hard to keep track. Oh, you did go that way anyway, you sod. 
Ah, there it is, right. Come on, let's first try this. Come on. Excellent. Yes! God, I am amazing at these. Another house emblem, token, whatever. Right, where were the where was the uh I think it was out here. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm pretty sure it was out here. There's the uh, How are we doing on, on house points? I know Gryffindor just lost a bunch because <laughs> of Gareth. Um I have no idea. Yeah, it's a shame that there really doesn't seem to be any actual house points in this game. That would have been cool. Right. Dungeons. Grand Staircase. Revelio. This is back down towards our common room. We might as well do this door here, actually, while we're in this nick of the woods, although I don't actually know where it is. There's the there's the two question mark. Oh well there's another cabinet, so there must be a key nearby as well. Here's the door, right. Uh six and four. Oh, so it's gotta be zero. The top one's gotta be zero. Which uh apparently is the, that little shit. Then five and six, uh, five and one, six. Uh, okay, so we need five, which is the weird head crab thing. Not a problem. Yeah, I quite, I quite like this hat. I've always said that All right, yes, we get it. Jesus Christ, I know you're proud of yourself. You have, you definitely have helped me a lot, but like, come on. Oh, Peeves is around. <laughs> Boom. Grey Quidditch gloves that aren't as good as what I've got. And a small framed painting. Right. Yeah, there, there must be another key around here somewhere. Revelio. In fact, I thought I heard it then. I wonder if it's below us. Yeah, you know what? This grand staircase has grown on me a little bit. I do, I do like, you know, I, I think the the one in the the films is iconic in the other games, but this is still pretty damn cool. Right. Anyway, we're not going this way. We're we're trying to find the dungeons. I found it last time. I'm sure I did. Oh, faculty tower. Rebellion. Oh well, I've got a chest. Definitely a page somewhere. Ooh, there's a chest up there. In the rafters. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Oh, there it is. Ooh, who's this? It's got an eye patch. Honeyduke's passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can only be accessed during uh, using a particular charm. I don't remember what that charm is. But that's pretty cool. Right. I don't know how I've got here. <laughs> I'm going to be quite honest. I wasn't intended on going this way. Um, oh, there's Peeves doing some juggling. Looks like flaming torches. <laughs> You're a ghost. You don't feel temperature. Do ghosts feel temperature? I wouldn't think they do. Oh, God. I don't think he gives any fucks. God, where's this going? Oh, there's some banging tunes going on somewhere. Oh, oh, it's this corridor again. Wait. I've been here before. I think. I'm getting so lost. Ooh, what's this? Enter? What? What? 
Okay, another wand handle. They do look like sex toys. Uh, wow. Okay, that is not what I expected. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's great. That's really cool. Okay, we gotta find more frog statues. We gotta find more frog statues. Yeah, I've definitely been up here. Wasn't this where, um... Yes, I've been this way. Okay. Natty's gonna die of old age by the time <laughs> we've exhausted all of this. What is this? Do I have to fill that up with something? Yeah, I might need a different spell for that. I'm not sure I'll have the right one for it. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I don't. I have no idea. Right. I was trying to get to the bloody dungeons. Where, where, how do I get back to... I, I swear I found them. Didn't I find them? Let's go back up the stairs. Let's retrace our steps. Because we're in the we're in the faculty tower now, apparently. That's locked. Yeah, we went uh Ah, it was okay, this way this way. Right, 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 okay. I, I remember where I am now. I swear. There was a... a doorway or something. Wait, is this the Great Hall? That is the Great Hall, oh my god. I don't think he liked him. Holy sh I've just witnessed a murder. Straight up murdered the guy. Oh, there's a key. Rebellion. Where you going, key? Where you going? You going down to that cabinet there? Yeah, you're going to that cabinet. Alright. Can we make it three in a row? Come on, you little sod. I'm telling you, I've I've mastered these, dude. Uh, right, this is this is looking more okay. That's locked. On the other side. Yeah, this is the entrance way. This is where you, we started the game in in the older games. This is it. Here we go. Let's explore the dungeons. What I assume are the dungeons, anyway. Certainly feels like it feels very dungeony. A straw sun hat. We are never bloody wearing a sun straw hat. Although I need to check my inventory because it we might be getting a little bit full. Oh no, we still got so we still got space. We still got space. Okay. Right. Let's see what's down here then. Yeah, I feel like this is where potions class could, should have been, really, but... Again, maybe they, maybe they moved it? I mean, that's the thing. With, with wizards, can't they just, like, move rooms and stuff? Or wherever, wherever they want? I don't know. I also like that it's quite quiet down here and there's no one really around. Rebellion. Oh, there's something nearby. Oh, we got another one of these mirrors. Okay. Actually, looks like this could be a bit of a maze. Oh, are we? Are we? We must be near the Slytherin Colman room. But also, these toilets look very Chamber of Secrecy. Myrtle wouldn't be dead by now, would she? No, Myrtle. Myrtle wouldn't be a thing. Out of order. Oh my God. 
What? Someone's growing freaking honking. How are they not giving the the position away with? Uh, wow. Okay, that's random. Who's growing all that bog, bog uh, toilet? I'm trying to think of, of plant puns. I'm I'm to toilet triffids. There we go. I knew I'd come up with something. Yeah. I don't know if this is the bathroom. Is this another bathroom over here? It is. Another house of order one. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, a bit of money. This is quite eerie. Oh, are those urinals. All oh, right. Yeah, apparently, before toilets, before indoor plumbing was invented by the Muggles, wizards would just go in the pants and just vanish it away somehow. I don't. It's freaking gross. Absolutely gross. Right, let's do a Lumos. Levi. That's a very nondescript corridor. I have no idea where that is, but I assume it's down this way. Oh, we're exploring the dungeons by wand light. This is very cool. Absolutely no idea where this thing would be, though. Revelio. Lumos. Got some tapestries. Anything behind there? Oh, well, there's a page. And an oh, another eye chest. Revelio. Kelpie statue. That rings a bell. Kelpie, shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Ha. <laughs> I like it when they incorporate, like, real mythology. I've been to Loch Ness. Right, let's, uh... Cast Invisible. Give me your goodies. Oh, another 500. Lumos. Yeah, no, no idea where this butterfly is going to be. This is quite a creepy area. It's 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 good. I like it. Oh, we're back out on a on a bridge. Oh my god! Look at the. I can't wait to fly around at night time. I cannot wait to fly around at night time. The music's really elevating this atmosphere now. So, where would this take me back? Is this the, uh, the great... Oh, another key! Rebellion. Christ! How many of the... I I'm gonna have found all of these by the end of this video. Where you going? Don't even know where- oh, there we go. I don't even know- I don't think I've been here before. House cabinet. I've got so easily distracted this video, it's crazy. Bollocks! Oh, I knew I'd mess up one of them eventually. I knew it. There we go. Yeah, I must have- we must be getting close to half of all of those now. Is this above? Yeah, this is above the, um... The central... Hall, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, uh, what's your face? Um... Oh, is it Crescinda? You're the one that was, uh, enchanting all the flapping books. Yeah, it is pretty late. I'm not surprised there's not many people walking around. Um, Revelio. right, well, let's, let's go, I want to go back to the dungeons a second. Wait, this isn't the way we came. Oh my gosh. 
Hogwarts is freaking massive, and I love it. <sighs> now, apparently we... Oh, can I, can I incendio these? Oh, there's a freaking puzzle. Two? Okay, we got Roman numerals going on here. And some weird symbols. Well, let's see if we can light this up. Incendio. Okay, well, that did the trick. I'm guessing it's to do with these symbols. They must correspond to a number. More torches over here. Yeah, there's another one. I have no idea what these runes are. Not a clue. I feel like there must be... It's, it's really hard to see at night time, actually. One, two, three, four... So yeah, there's four torches, so they must all have to be the correct number. I wonder if it's to do with... Is it to do with the shapes? Like, would that be three because it's a triangle? I don't know, guys, and I bet you're going to be like, Oh my god, my oh wait, they're all triangles. Um, or are they all triangles? No, they weren't all triangles. No, that was... We'll try that being four. I don't know. I don't know. A circle. Maybe it's the number of lines? But... Oh! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I know how I did that, but I also don't know if I know how I did that. Solve Hogwarts secrets. Challenge complete. Oh my god, I can climb down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. What do I get for that challenge, by the way? Where's it gone? Where's my challenges? Where's my challenges? Ah, I can't see. Uh, I genuinely might be getting a, a migraine. Challenges! Exploration. We got our first exploration challenge. Woo! Alright. We got a... Uh, a bathing costume. <laughs> Okay. I mean, we're gonna have to see what that looks like. Ooh, a tailored co a tailcoat. I like the sound of that. Um, so there's a bunch of different ones here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that looks like. Probably terrible. Uh, oh no, it's, a, it's an outfit, isn't it? What was it again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not, <laughs> we're not wearing that. You must be mad. You must be mad. I do kind of like that, actually. We're going we're gonna to rock that for a little bit. <laughs> no way. Right, let's see what's down here then, shall we? Other than rats, I'm assuming. Oh, a celestial blue po- was that a potion? Was that a wand handle? Whoa, whoa, there's something invisible. Something invisible just ran through that water, or was it a rat? I didn't see it. There's definitely something running around. It might have been a rat. That is a big ass chest. Please be something good. Emerald Highland attire, All right. I think that might- is that gonna have a kilt? Lumos. Is that gonna have a kilt? Revelio. Oh, we've got a moving portrait. Hang on a minute, chaps. We might have just found our newest outfit. Oh, we can't wear it yet. It's level 15. It's gonna be way better than what we've got, though. Can I still- Look like I'm wearing it. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not yet. 
No. But hopefully very soon. Should be level 15 in no time. Lost. Right, well this was very cool. I'm glad I stumbled across the solution to that. I, st I don't know if I got the right end of that particular stick, but um... Yeah, we've definitely just been completely ignoring Natty now for quite a while. But you know what? I'm okay with it because this is a lot of freaking fun. Hey, dude. Revelio. Oh, we've got another mirror around here. There's so, so many collectibles. And the fact that they all give you XP really is a good incentive to find them. Not only because they're really fun, but like... Yeah. Obviously, I've abandoned the dungeons now. We'll get back to the- we'll get back there at some point. Um, do I want to do this butterfly? I suppose I should do while I'm here. We'll try at least. Lumos. Uh... Okay, that's... That's a statue. Near some stairs. It looks like near a courtyard. I mean, they can't ever be too far away. Yeah, it's gotta be this courtyard. In fact, is this the courtyard? This isn't going back towards the big, um... Oh, the big clock tower. Clock tower, I think it is. Right. I think it's... Oh, well, we got a Levioso. Accio. Oh, it's Accio, you knob. Ah! Let's get rid of Incendio again. Probably not going to need that. Oh, wait. I've already got Levioso equipped. Levioso. My bad. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're so close to level 15. Right. It's got to be one of these statues, isn't it? Lumos. I'm thinking it might be on the other side, though. Uh, is it not over here? Oh, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. There we go, found it. Bring you back to your friends. What's going on over here? What are you doing? See you later. Don't know what you're doing. Right. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Oh, it's the librarian. What are you doing out here? Why the floating... Okay, I have many questions. I don't really know what's going on there. There you go. So close, so close. Alright, yeah, we're back, uh, we're back at the clock tower, aren't we? That's definitely where Rebellion. we are. Oh no, we're not. Oh, we're back. He we're back here. Oh. Okay, I I thought I was uh, getting to grips with this. Apparently not. There's a there is a page nearby. Is it is it here? Yeah, I thought so. Hogwarts Crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with the school motto, Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titilandus. Tit. Uh, which means, never tickle a sleeping dragon. I did not... I probably did know that at some point, but... Um, level 15? Level 15? Are you kidding me? I'm not quite level 15 yet. Must be like... One XP off. Right, so I mean, I could go back quick. You know what? I'll quickly go back down to the dungeons and just have another quick look because we didn't find that butterfly down there, did we? Da, da, da. I just really dig the atmosphere down here, especially. It's uh, it does remind me of the earlier games. Yeah. So, which way did I? go in the end. It was this way, wasn't it? Oh, there we are. I think I found it. I think I found it. Now I just need to remember where the frick the mirror was. 
That's a freaking door. That's a secret door. Gotta be. Is it down this way? There we go. Right, this has got to get us a level now. Nice. Now, the important question, my friends. Can I wear a frickin' kilt? That would be pretty damn amazing. It's way more defense. It is legendary. Oh my god. We are wearing a frickin' kilt. That's incredible. Chall chall channeling my inner William Wallace. Alright, we also got a lot of money, by the way. Holy crap. Right. Let's, uh, let's go back the other way, then. You look like nearly headless, Nick. Are you nearly headless, Nick? Is your head gonna tilt? You do look like hit nearly headless Nick. Revelio. Right. Okay. We yeah. We've got some. Ooh. Got some proper dungeon-looking dungeons down here. I won't be able to open those. In fact, this looks like it might be story-related because there's no number on it. Unless I. Okay. There, we have to unlock those. All of these are locked. And there's definitely a page in there as well. Okay, so we will be back at some point when I can actually open doors. Maybe maybe I should be saving my exploration for when I have a means of unlocking at least the level 1 locks. But I just can't, I can't wait, I can't wait, I just want to see everything already. But we should, we should at least head over in Natty's direction now, I think. We've done enough exploration for now. We'll, uh, we'll go say hello to it. In fact, what's the quickest way to leave Hogwarts? Do I have any? Uh, flu station. I mean, we, we got one at Hogsmeade, but... Or the, well, at the Forbidden Forest. Um, no, let's go back to Hogwarts and... Can't, can't fast travel there, but we'll just go to the bell tower wing. Yeah, bell tower cor uh, courtyard. Perfect. Alright. So, um... We might... If we travel now... We might see the sunrise. I don't know. I really can't tell what time it is. I know it's late, but... Let's go out for a stroll. Oh my gosh, this... Lighting is insane! Also, I don't know if you've noticed, I turned off motion blur. Um, because I don't mind it, but apparently it makes some people quite motion sick, so I... I'm sorry that I didn't do that sooner. Uh... Alright, so I'm to go this way. So this way we shall go! Oh, look at the stained glass windows. Oh, and a big... a big door here as well. Where's this go? Can I open it? Rebellion. There is a chest in there. Oh, yeah, I can open it. Oh, hang on a minute. How's my inventory looking? I might. Well, will there be shops in these hamlets? I might have to quickly head over to Hogsmeade and sell some stuff. Because we are looking... Yeah, we're getting pretty full now, I would think. Oh, actually, no, we're not. we got plenty of space. That's fine. But I probably... In between videos, I will probably go sell more stuff. Uh, ooh, gold wooden spectacles. Well, we have been rocking the shades for a while. It is the Chudley Cannons! Freaking Chudley Cannons. The Mo Montrose Magpies. The Tutshill Tornadoes. Uh, okay. Cool. There's the Quidditch pitch. Uh, speaking of Quidditch, actually... When I was loading up my, my character, you know when there's usually, like, books flying around him? There was a snitch, and he was trying to catch it, and he couldn't catch it, because he's shit. Rebellion. 
that looks like Hagrid's hut. A little bit. Oh, here we go. Off on another adventure. Oh, this is the flying class lawn. Okay. Cool. Can't wait to learn how to fly. I've actually been to the castle where they filmed a lot of those scenes in the earlier films where they're like outside with the flying lessons. I've been to that castle. <clears throat> yeah, this is totally Hagrid's hut, man. Is this Hagrid's hut? I mean, obviously Hagrid's not going to be in there, but... Beast's classroom, yeah! Oh, it's locked, no! All right, Harry, you come round my hut uh, tonight for a cup of tea. Your old friend, Hagrid. And don't forget to bring those fire seeds. Well, he's been waiting for them for ages. Norbert, I oh, need him to hatch. So we can feel really bad about letting him go later. Oh my god. It was a house elf who disappeared. Oh my god. I can't wait to have a magical beast class. Rebellion. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, we got another chest. That's behind a level two lock. Hmm. At this rate, this playthrough is going to be about 500 parts, because I just... I'm just looking around constantly, not really doing much. Oh, hello! Shit, you scared me. Are you, the, are you one of the groundskeepers? Hello. You're out, you're out late. Anyway, at least we've got some flute stations. Cannot get over how amazing it looks. Oh, we got something up here. Oh, it's more, uh, things. Moonstone, that's it. Right, am I going the right way? Oh, it's actually, it's actually telling me to go up that way. But yeah, I want to, want to make sure we're getting as many, uh, ingredients as possible, because you never know what, when we're going to need them. Uh, don't know where we're going to get whole clump juice. I might I have to actually buy some of that. Because I... I, I want uh, I want more freaking Wigan Weld. <laughs> How badly I've been doing at the dueling. I mean, I've not died. I've not had a game over. But I do take a lot of damage. Have those. Is that an owl statue? That's very nice. Okay, grab those. What's up there then? Oh, it's a tower. Okay, I, I, we need to go see. We need to actually go see Natty. We are, we. Oh, look where! Oh, that famous bridge. Oh gosh. Oh, I love that. That's so iconic. A lot of freaking moonstone around these parts. God, this would be a lot easier if I could fly. I think... Is it getting daytime? Is the sun rising? I don't... Don't know. A bit of music. There we go. Feels like I'm playing a Skyrim or something now. Ooh. Oh, have I already been here? I recognize this place from the other games. You I've... can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Have I been here also? Are those balloons I can destroy? Oh, it's definitely... It's definitely getting a little bit lighter, I think. Yep, I think morning is dawning. Uh, I... I've definitely not been here before. Have I? Rebellio. Hey, owl. Okay, nothing going on here. Got a page. 
The Well of Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of Four Beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. Ooh. Oh, that sun's rising. Yeah. Sorry, Natty. I've kept you waiting so long. Oh, what a beautiful place. What a beautiful vista. Oh. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right. She's not too far away. Let's just run down there and there's probably a, a flu station we'll grab. Don't know what the deal is with those balloons. Like, can I actually shoot them? If I get closer, maybe I can? Might be part of a side quest. Who knows? <laughs> can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, this is cozy. A fur-lined cap. Oh, actually, that'd be good for winter. And actually, it's better stats than what I've got. Yeah. Get us over 100 defense. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. We'll, we'll rock that for a little bit. Oh, just a bag of money. Who lives here then? Revelio. Oh, there's a page in here, is there? Oh, there is. Groundkeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut, as large as the occupant may may need. Is that a reference to Hagrid? Is this technically his hut? This doesn't look like this doesn't look like his hut. I mean, it, actually, it kind of does now that I look at it a bit more. A little bit. I don't know. Uh, it's raining. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, are there going to actually be We're enemies out here? Because I've been wondering where I could, like, maybe grind out these uh, assignments. Like the old dodge roll. I mean, I'm sure when we meet up with Natty, we're going to get up to all sorts of uh, hijinks, but... Um, yeah, there's, it looks like there's a lot to see and do. Probably quicker to explore on a broom whenever we get that. But uh, we're nearly here. Is there a flu station nearby? Uh, I think that's a side quest. Have I just stumbled across a side quest? I think I have. Well, there's Natty. There's the flu <sighs> Station. It's good to see you, my friend. Hey, Natty. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, oh, there's another side quest over there as well. Excellent. Right, we're going to do some of those next time, chaps. Thank you for watching. Sorry, Natty. I'm going to have to leave you for a little bit. I'll be back, though. I promise. I promise I'll talk to you next time. I just had a lot of exploring to it do. It's good to see you, my friend. Yes. Uh, also, I will go and probably sell some stuff off screen. But um, thank you for watching, everyone. It's time <sighs> for everyone's favorite bit, probably. Not mine. We've had a couple of quite, quite crappy beans as of late. The last two haven't been brilliant. Um, the last one, I think, was dirt. It must have been. It, the more I ate it, the more I chewed on it, which was unpleasant, I was thinking, yeah, this this might be dirt. That might be what they're going for. Um, please be something good. Ooh. This might be... I don't know if this is tutti frutti. Where's me plumbing? Why do I keep the? Where's me page gone? Oh bollocks! I've lost me. I've lost me page. I've lost me key. Oh no! I think it's tutti frutti anyway. Oh yeah, it is. Good bean. Oh, you know what that tastes like? The old Wrigley's um juicy fruit. Chewing gum. That's what that tastes like. Please like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye for now.